Lost inside you'll never find Lost within my own mind Day after day this misery must go on Greetings one and all two universes! In this show we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and leave your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or your video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Chun-Li, the Chinese cop and Tigress, the Chinese cat. Yeah, okay, that introduction sounded a lot more clever in my mind. Ugh, mind, what's wrong with you? Anyways, let's ignore that embarrassment and find out who's gonna win. This is Universes. Chun-Li was exposed to and interested in martial arts at a very young age. She began practicing Tai Chi and Hong Kwan, assisted by her father whom she was very close to. Huh, a fighting game character close to their father, that's new. Anyways, Chun-Li continued to learn more styles as she grew, adding in elements of all of them to create her very own unique fighting style. During this time though, her father vanished, and she became an officer to find him. Doing this led her to the criminals at Shadaloo and their leader, M. Bison, who not only kidnapped Chun-Li's father, but killed him too. Upon hearing this news, Chun-Li immediately challenged M. Bison to a fight where she ended up losing. Despite this loss though, Chun-Li remained strong and dedicated her life to exposing Shadaloo for the criminals they are to shut them down for good. And with her incredible skills, she's more than capable of doing so. As mentioned before, Chun-Li grew up using a bunch of different styles and incorporated them into one unique fighting style she created herself. There's Tai Chi, Hong Kwan, and even a bit of Taekwondo made it in there as seen by the heavy use of her incredible legs. With those beastly legs of hers, she can kick anyone's ribs in. With the Hyakuretsu Kiyaku, Chun-Li can stand on one leg and deliver a powerful barrage of kicks at blinding speeds. Her Hazanchu sends her flipping forward towards her foes to deliver powerful blows, and the spinning bird kick lets her defy the laws of physics and fly upside down with her legs, like some kind of crazy woman helicopter. Take that, Tails! Chun-Li doesn't need to be some kind of freak of nature to fly. If her legs can't quite reach though, she always has the Kikokin, a powerful blue ball of chi that travels towards her foes. It's basically a Chinese Hadouken. It even has a stronger version called the Kikosho, or the Chinese Shinku Hadouken. Other super moves include the Hoyoksen and the Hosenka, both of which rely on intense and powerful kicks from those big ol' hamsteak thighs. I only emphasize their beefiness because of the incredible feat she's accomplished with them. <laughs> Get it? Thighs. Feats. <laughs> Chun-Li is strong enough to kick her foes through concrete walls, she can lift and throw a sofa, and she was even able to defeat five martial arts masters by herself at the same time. Her Kikokin was strong enough to knock a steel door off of its hinges, but her strongest Kikosho is powerful enough to create a gigantic crater in the middle of the forest. When calculated, it was found that the energy needed to create this crater is the same amount of energy required to destroy an entire town. She's tough enough to survive hits from Sagat, she can survive getting Sonic boomed through a wall, and being thrown on the ground so hard by M. Bison that the ground beneath her cracked. Unfortunately, Chun-Li doesn't have much in terms of speed feats on her own. Though we can scale her to many fighters in the Street Fighter universe, which should put her at roughly hypersonic speeds and combat agility. She's had a full career as an officer and now spends her days teaching martial arts to children everywhere. But I'm sure she'll be more than glad to hop back in the line of duty once trouble raises its ugly head again. Love letter? Can't blame a girl for trying. Not even my sweet message could sway your stubborn heart. Message? What are the two of them talking about? The Kung Fu Panda universe is surprisingly detailed and extended beyond just the movies. I highly suggest and recommend checking it out if you have the time. Anyways, Tigress's story doesn't have a happy beginning. As it turns out, Tigress was an orphan and had lots of trouble getting adopted. She loved fun and enjoyed playing, but there was just one problem. She was a tiger, not a cute little goose or bunny like the rest of the kids, so her idea of fun was a bit too rough. 
She scared off all the other kids and adults, making her feel alone. That is until one day a fearless kung fu master approached her and taught her patience and focus with the game. The fearless master was none other than Shifu himself who later went on to adopt Tigress as his own. Despite being adopted by him though, she couldn't quite live up to his previous child, Tai Lung. As such, she's dedicated her life to leading the Furious Five and fighting side by side with the Dragon Warrior to make her master proud. When it comes to her fighting style, Tigress is quite unique. She uses traditional kung fu but with her own animal attributes thrown in. She has a powerful wild beast locked within her focused hands. She is a complete master of the martial art as she uses her claws to cut through her opponents like paper, and she can run on all fours at incredible speeds. Tigress's training has also granted her the ability to perform a perfect split in the air to obliterate stone plates. Over 20 years of her training were spent punching ironwood trees. This training made her hands so strong that she can block just about anything without feeling pain. Her palms became tough enough to match the strength of iron itself. I mean, they were ironwood trees after all. As skilled as she was though, Tigress always had more to learn once the Dragon Warrior Po showed up. She's aware of the wishy finger hold and even has a counter for it, and she even mastered Chi. In the Kung Fu Panda universe, Chi is the natural energy that flows through all living beings. It has the power to bring life and even has some healing properties. So I've been talking about the skills her training got her, but what about the results? How tough is she? Well for one, she can toss around Poe like nothing even though he weighs 260 pounds. Tigress can chop through wood with ease and casually shatter a gigantic rock formation. She's even strong enough to kick a cannon hard enough to make it move. Considering a cannon weighs about 20,000 pounds, that's pretty impressive. Tigress is strong enough to push Poe so hard that it created a shockwave and sent him flying at hypersonic speeds, and she can fight evenly with Poe in his base form who's tough enough to survive getting punched through a skyscraper-sized rock. This should also mean she scales to Poe's hypersonic speeds as he can run so fast that his hands ignite, and Tigress herself has survived plenty of deadly situations. She shrugged off getting shot in the spine by an arrow, she survived a beating from Tai Lung, and while it did leave her heavily beaten, she did block a cannonball blast that destroyed an entire boat Doc. So she can block cannonballs, but what about a Kikosho from Chun-Li? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. That was pretty hardcore. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Z Dog S here, bringing you another universe's prediction. Now, I hope to do this with a friend of mine, but unfortunately, I kind of got a bit fed up with him because he was a bit too busy, which I'm not going to blame him for. It. It's just I really wanted to do this prediction. But who knows? Maybe me and him will collab again together in the future. Who knows? But anyway. Yes, we're going to make another universe's prediction, and this one we have a very interesting battle. A battle between the female the female fighters who fight with their feet. I cannot do alliteration. But anyways, yes, we have Chun-Li from the Street Fighter series versus Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. And so, let's get into this prediction. Now, this fight is a very interesting fight for Leopold the Brave. Um, I, however, I do want to go with Chun-Li. Um, for winning. Um, because while well, yes, I bl Tigress can scale to Poe, which, um, he has done a lot of impressive things as we've seen in Poe vs. Baymax. Um, Chun Li has gone up with a lot of the heavy hitters with the world, like Kami and M. Bison. And M. Bison is really impressive, since he has a very high durability from being able to survive Akuma's Raging Demon. Um, Tigress, however, he, she doesn't, she gets hit, she gets defeated by a lot of, um, um, people in her series, like Poe, 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 which is, like, his, her main rival in a way, like, friendly, like, frenemies, um, like, Poe has been able to defeat Tigress before, so, she is a bit easy to read, however, Chun-Li can hold back sometimes, um, so, which could actually prevent her from going full strength at Tigress. But, all in all, I want to go with Chun-Li. So, that's all. Just a short little prediction video this time. Uh, hope, hope you guys enjoyed it, and Leopold the Brave, you're a cool guy, and see you guys next time. Looks like Chun-Li has to take, looks like Tigress has to taste defeat from Chun-Li. Okay. Why do I come up with such terrible puns?
Another universe channel, long time no see. What's up guys, J Diamond Sonic here, and you probably know why I'm gonna change my YouTube name in a minute. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the next episode of Universes is going to be between Chun-Li from Street Fighter vs. Tigress from Kung Fu Panda, and this is crazy because I've never seen these two going head-to-head -head after all, but if before we get on to predictions why who I think is going to win, but first let's discuss their skills or strength and speed. Chun-Li first appeared in like the 90s or something. Yeah, so, y'all, nobody was born during that time, maybe. I mean, I was born during Street Fighter, so I've seen her a lot. So I've seen her skills in combat, and she's pretty darn fast, and she's so dang awesome. And so far, so good. Tigris has the same durability, and for the upper hand. And no, and no other of these would be... Oh, hey, oh, hey Michael, what's up? I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, so, so what you get? Yeah, so he's really a big fan of the what? Kick. Yeah, so yeah, so for my predictions, yeah, so for my predictions of what? Hey, why don't you just go watch SpongeBob SquarePants over there? ignore him yeah so uh yeah so uh yeah so Chun Li I think is going to win yeah so thanks for watching peace out I know this was not even too far but still see you Nara and the results are in the winner is Chun Li, I'm sorry, Tigress. You're so cool, but you just can't win. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, let's see how the street fighting queen takes the win. Don't get me wrong, though. Despite my reaction to Chun Li's victory, this was an extremely close fight. There are several areas where they seem tied, like speed, for example. Tigress can scale to Poe, who can redirect cannonballs and move at hypersonic speeds, while Chun Li can scale to foes who can dodge point blank gunfire and dodge hypersonic Hadoukens. Then, both have Chi manipulation, but there's a problem. With Chi, Tigress can use healing powers, but it's unknown if it's self healing. So far, Poe's the only one we've seen do that, and Tigress hasn't quite mastered Chi on his level yet. Meanwhile, Chun Li is able to manipulate Chi into a physical form with her Kikoken. Not only would this make Chun Li's Chi manipulation stronger, but it also gives her the range advantage as Tigress doesn't have any projectiles. Not to mention, the power of Chun-Li's projectiles is completely insane. The town level explosion she can create with her Kikosho is way stronger than the dock explosion durability feat that Tigress has. I mean, Tigress's durability still is superior to Chun-Li's durability, but not her attack potency. Besides, this durability is only exclusive to Tigress's hands from punching the ironwood trees. She's been consistently harmed by much weaker body blows. She does beat Chun-Li in experience, she's able to match her speed, but she loses due to a lack of of power or unique abilities. If you're still not convinced, this is 100% exactly how Tigress lost to Tai Lung. She had more experience than Tai Lung due to her training the entire time he was locked up. She equals his speed, but ultimately lost to him due to his greater power and superior abilities like his nerve attacks. It's exactly the same as how she loses to Chun-Li now. Chun-Li would definitely have trouble with Tigress in a close range fight, but her superior arsenal and long range projectiles would allow her to play the keep away game and claim victory. Sorry Tigress, but it looks like Chun-Li Lee has the cat's tongue this time. <laughs> I can do better. How about, um, uh, how about, um, aw, Kung Fui, Tigress lost. Better? Yeah, uh, whatever. The winner is Chun Li. You win! Get ready for the next battle. What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and now I'm going to take a break. Whew, I am tired, but I'm not going to leave you hanging, so I'll show you the next fighters that'll appear once the break is over. Just be sure to leave your predictions in the comments, or a vote in the poll, or even with a video response. It's time for a Disney duel!